In this last video, I wanna, I want to explore the solutions that we made for the the, the BCD problem, right? Um, if you go to GitHub, HF Trader, my paste bin, you find um, compute power two. This is the serial code. Domain divide is threaded. Uh, threaded with templates, multi thread with 64 bit. Um, this is the pipeline version. Let's just discuss, just have a look at the serial code first. Um, okay. capture everything so I can write down okay so uh, this is basically um, there is a main function calls uh, print power 2 with uh, 10,000 uh, this number is the uh, number of bits It's hard to code it there, I could put in an argument. But uh, let's go to the routine. It's pretty, the, the serial version is pretty short. N is the number of bits that uh, we need to multiply uh, so that uh, we are computing in decimal four form at two to the power of N. And uh, so this needs to be computed in in power of 10, in decimal. That's what we're doing. Uh, the result of this function is then eventually printed to std io, uh, std out. Okay, so we start um, starting with the, the, the end, we will have a vector, and the vector has a position 0, 1, 2, till n. Uh, not n. This, is, this is going to be the number of user blocks. In this case, if I go to three and four we have five so used blocks is gonna be five then this print is going to print vec four because it's used blocks minus one so it prints out this prints out this block here then the loop goes from k, k is equal to 1 to um, uh, and last in used blocks. Uh, and this is going to print, in this case, is going to be vec used blocks 5 minus 1 minus 1. So this is vec 3. And then 2. One and vec zero in this loop. Notice that uh, here I use I don't use any uh, modifier. In this case, I use the modifier because the first the first block block printed out. I don't want any padding with zeros. So if the first block contains one ninety three, I wanna print it uh, in the way it is. Now if the second block contains eight nine. Uh, three. I want to print it as zero 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 eight nine three because it's uh, it it's supposed to have nine digits. All right. So this this is the printing part. The printing part is common to every other implementation. 
Now for the calculations, uh, it's interesting to begin with the with the end uh, because now you know the what's going what 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 variable is going to be the result. Um, okay, so this line we compute the number of blocks. So each block is responsible for uh, a given number of uh, bits. So n bits is the maximum number of bits is 29. Uh, and the reason for this is we need to make sure that every block is maximum has a maximum of uh, 999 million and uh, so this is uh, 10 to the power of 9 minus 1 and we need to make sure that this number is the number of uh, that's going to be used in there uh, has to be less than uh, than the maximum number of digits so 2 to the power of 29 has to be less than 10 to the power of 9. If you're using 64 bits, this this would be 2 to the power of 63, 63, which is less than 10 to the power of 19. I can actually use more digits if I'm using 64 bits. We're going to get there in a different example. But in this one, uh, we are using 32 bits because of the carry calculation. It makes things uh, faster, actually. And in general, in, in a, even in a 64-bit machine, using 32-bit instructions is faster. Is usually faster. All right. So this, uh, let's say that uh, I pass. I want to compute two to the power of um, um, 100. Then number of blocks is going to be 100 divided by 29 plus 1 and this n blocks is the maximum number of blocks that I can possibly uh, possibly uh, use but number of blocks here is uh, uh, this is going to be 3 plus 1 4 and I guarantee that because uh, I know that uh, this 29 is less you know that's why this guarantee I'm not I'm not computing exactly the number of blocks I'm computing uh, an upper bound for the number of um, numbers for the size of uh, my actual vector um, then I, I initialize this vector with 0 and um, 1 so initially uh, vec is essentially equal to 1 what I do in this loop is essentially uh, multiplying every uh, of every one of these blocks by the maximum allowed number without uh, causing an overflow. The maximum number is 2 to the power of 19. Right? So I'm, I'm, I'm going to shift this has the effect of shifting uh, the vector uh, 19 positions to the left and this is this is what BCD does that's that's the algorithm behind uh, binary code decimals um, so I do this up to the point when it gets close to uh, 100 there will be some uh, bits remaining that's why I do this so NB is just is either the maximum between N, the, num the maximum number of bits or the number of bits left then I do a, a full sweep so this loop what it does is uh, it, it multiplies every block by um, 2 to the power of NB and then so I have the value there multiply by ND and 
I sum up the previous carry, which is initially zero. Uh, then what I do, because this whole number is going to be a 64-bit number, then I need to uh, trim this number. So the, the, the part that stays is uh, I mod it with uh, max power 10 which is 10 to the power 19 and the carry is going to be uh, the, the the quotient of the division uh, if I if V if VEC is a 64 bit instead of 32 bit as in this case where is it okay here then I would have to use assembly code to compute these two lines, which we do in the in in the next implementation. All right, and when I get to the end, um, mind you, the number of used blocks initially is zero because is one because the number is one. So if there is any carry left by the end, what I do is I just store the carry, and I um, taking into account that I, I'm using an additional block. So I have used this, I'm using this now. And every time I have a carry uh, being uh, placed over um, uh, an empty block, then I, I update the used blocks. That's how I take into account when I go to the end, uh, I know how many blocks were used. So this version, the zero, zero version is pretty easy to use okay now to the second version let's go to the pipeline pipeline is a technique that's very common in uh, FPGA and Verilog, I'm just capturing the entire program. Okay, done. You're done here. Now I can write on this thing. Uh, going back to the main, <coughs> exactly the same. Um, this is a hundred thousand, so the number of bits I'm computing two to the power of a hundred thousand using four threads. I could write something here just so uh, I pass these numbers as arguments, but it's, it's it's much easier to keep things simple and uh, and just modify recompile it's not a big problem it doesn't take much time so now uh, we, we still have the print pow 2 but because we have threads we have to have we need to have um, one entry point for each thread and that's this function called uh, cock blocks it's passed Okay. All right. So, print power two is passed the number of bits as before, and this is a new argument: the number of threads that uh, that I'm going to use to compile, uh, to compile, to uh, to compute. Now, the same calculations: um, number of bits. Um, this I compute the number of blocks and now instead of having a vector I have um, a struct calc that's gonna hold information um, I, I chose to create this struct because I, I don't want to pass when I create the the thread um, here I don't want to pass all this information in the command line. It's just ugly. So I create a, a, a struct, calc. Let's use a different uh, a struct calc. 
and it it holds the maximum number of blocks that's going to be that uh, n blocks that uh, we computed before this is an atomic int and bits this number of bits that i'm uh, i'm computing and uh, it's it's important because because the number of bits because every thread is going to take a certain number of bits from 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 each uh, from this variable that's initialized with uh, with n in the beginning and so this is in fact the number of bits left and uh, then we have the actual values which is uh, that this is the uh, un32 of course it has to be an atomic as well because uh, i'm going to show later and this is just a, a, a constructor that initializes all the values uh, that reserves space for the vector and uh, initializes all the values to, to zero now uh, what we are going to do here is basically um, you have the n bits which is initialized with uh, 100,000 and then there is uh, the, the values vector this is the we, we called it vec in the, in the last in the serial version um, and it has a UN32 so it's, it's, it's pretty much the same method as before the only thing that we are doing different here is every thread the threads are going to be started and they, they are going to be waiting here um, when the threads start they will try to grab a maximum of uh, n bits which is 19 from this number so once the first thread starts it goes and tries to get uh, decrement this this 100,000 by 19 uh, then uh, proceeds to multiply every of uh, these blocks by 2 to the power of 19 once it gets to the end it waits until the last thread has done the same and uh, repeats the process until this n bits is less or equal equal to zero uh, thread number two when it starts does pretty much the same it tries to get a, a maximum of 19 from this counter then it checks what's the position for thread number one um, this uh, position is passed to the thread when in the start so there is this flags it's an atomic int 32 so it can be a negative number and uh, it has a number of uh, threads so for each thread you have um, position uh, initially every thread is initialized with minus one so which means that they haven't started yet so the threads just stay a minus one would be uh, stay in the back uh, of the of the vector uh, stay outside so it's not doing anything um, and every thread is passed the 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 next this is the next position and this is the uh, itself it's it's current and the reason for this is um all right so going to the code this is the next and this is the counter so when thread starts is the block and it fetches the number of bits maximum number of bits 
if nb is less or equal to zero then it, it has no bits so it just sets the counter to minus two and breaks out of the loop this ends the thread um, if number of bits is greater than uh, n bits then it uh, it caps the number of bits to 19 so for each thread this is, is pretty much the same so it's, it has a carry uh, these two are exactly the same as the serial version um, this as, as well is the same so this part of the code is exactly the same what is different is this uh, before multiply any block it checks if the next so if the the next thread is equal to zero uh, if i'm here waiting outside and the next the thread that's in front of me occupies the, the the place that i want to go then i need to wait once it's not equal anymore it means that the next the, the next thread the thread that's in front of me has moved then i can move in and do my calculation when it loops it goes back and checks the position of the the thread that's in front of me so it's always this next represents the thread that's in front and this is my current position uh, when, once it goes to the end and this is very important it checks uh, if the next thread has started as well because it uh, what ma might happen is thread number one goes uh, and thread number two also finishes and uh, thread number one for some reason uh, is slow and thread number two gets in front and uh, starts computing and we can't do that then we lose all the synchronization that's why this is called the pipeline method because you always have uh, threads in order thread number one number two number three and then it moves when when they move thread number one goes here Thread number two goes here, number three, and they just go uh, computing as a train, so as, a, as in a pipeline. And that's it. When it ends, um, it goes back to this code. So this, this line will wait for every thread to finish. And uh, it joins. Uh, once that's done, then um, you have... Um, and this is a part that's different. I have to actually compute. I don't because it's a multi-threaded algorithm. I don't have uh, the number of actually used blocks, so I I need to find out the number of blocks, which in this case are called the number of slots. Then uh, then this is the same the same code as before. It just prints out the 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 big number with uh you know three thousand digits <clears throat>